Hola chicos, this is Señora Ana, and this is just a small tutorial of how to set up your BHL or your Vista account. This is if you do not have already a Vista or a BHL account. So if you already have one, then please watch the other video. So I recommend that you use your Google Chrome because sometimes Edge or Internet Explorer or other browsers will have issues with it. So you're just going to open your new window and then you're going to go to www.bhlcentral.com. Um, now I do recommend that you favorite this um, this site, either put in your bookmarks or whatever it is that you need to do so that's easily accessible. As you can see, I have it right here. Uh, and then you're going to click where it says create a new account. You're going to create your username, whatever the username that you want to do. So uh, make sure that you write down your username. So in this case, I'm just going to put uh, Paola Velez Uno. Okay. And then an email, whatever email um, that you already have that you can use, okay? I tell my students to use their students.cupcake12 uh, account, but uh, you can use your Gmail as well. Uh, as you're doing this, please write it down right now. Grab a piece of paper and write this down. And then a password. I usually ask my students to put like one letter and then their launch number to make it easier. Uh, but you can put whatever password you want. Ag again, write it down and write it down somewhere that you're not going to lose. Okay, because you're going to need this. So type password and then you're going to write um, first name, last name, and then birthday, uh, birth year. Right now I'm just going to put any birth year. Um, and then you're going to select a secret question. This is important because it will help you in case you need to look, like reset that password. I would just keep it to the city you were born. Write down your answers, please, exactly as you wrote them so that you wouldn't have a problem later. You don't have to click on any of this email preferences. You don't need to get any of this stuff. And then just click on continue. And it's going to show you your account summary. If you have any issues, uh, then click on edit if you made a mistake, okay? Um, if not, just click on create account. And then you're going to have all your terms of use. Um, and make sure you agree and click in the agree button right there at the end. Um, and then usually it'll take you to this add a new school. Sometimes it skips this step. If it skips this step, don't worry about it. Uh, but if it didn't, it shows you this. You're going to put Walton High School right here. And it's going to show you Walton High School. So you're going to select the school and then put select, okay? Um, and then it's going to show you the different, um, the different books. Now, this depends on the level that you're in. So if you are in Spanish one and Spanish two, you're gonna select on Descubre Uno. If you're in Spanish three, you're going to go with Descubre Dos. Um, as your teacher, if you have any questions about specifically which book you need. And so I'm gonna select on Descubre Uno. And then you're going to select your instructor and make sure that you know what section you're in, meaning what class period. So in this case, you have Miss uh, uh, Senora Delgado right here with some of her periods or Senora Facer or then you have me. So you're just going to pick whatever is your class. Do not worry if you make a mistake. You can always go back and change it or we can switch you. But please just check. So if you're in my second period, I'm just going to put that second period for me. And then you're just going to put on enroll. You have to do this, otherwise you will not be able to access all the activities that we're assigning. And then it should send you to this area. If it skips something, then you can just click and send you to this one, then just click on enroll a course in a course and it should give you um, the option in here to go back, select the class that you were supposed to be in. So I'm gonna select here again the book. And then if I made a mistake and I uh, added myself in the wrong class period, then I can do like that change. And then that's it, okay? And then um, to access, you're gonna click on the book, the actual book, and it's gonna take you to this main screen. Now, once we start assigning something, you're gonna have all your assignments right here. It's gonna be showing up. Uh, right now, you see that I have no assignments, uh, but once you we start assigning them, they're going to pop up here. I also tell my students to look at the calendar um, because the calendar can also give them if I assign not just like Wednesday's homework, but let's say I have already posted like Fridays, then you can see the different things right in here. It makes it really easy. Um, it also allows you to go back between months 
uh, to look at different things that could have been assigned. Uh, right here also you can look in content. You have the V text, that would be your textbook. And on the textbook you can just you know, go down and look at the different things that you might need uh, to, to check. You can just um, hover over the chapter and then look at the different information there. It has all the grammar that we're looking at or perhaps like the readings or the cultural portion, whatever it is that you need, it would be right here. Another one that I really like is the vocab area because on the vocab part, let's say we're looking at lección cuatro, I really like it because it gives you the vocab for the whole uh, unit and it makes you flashcards. And the flashcards, what I really appreciate about them is that they have a native speaker. So you can actually listen to that. If you're not sure how to pronounce it, you can look at it here. And then once you study it, you can just mark it. I know it, I don't know it, and it will take it out of the stash. Uh, you don't have to look at the entire vocab for the, the unit. You can select parts of it. So let's say, okay, I'm just going to wa uh, worry about deportes, which is, which is a part of it. And if you only want to study that part, well, then you just study this portion. It also allows you to add words. So if we give you extra words and you just want to add them in one place, this is a great tool. You can just add them right here. Um, another thing that you... Well, that's a vocab and a VTEX. Activities, assessments, and all of these other things, we would have to assign it for you. So really, it's not right now something that you would be uh, looking for, but you can always play with it. Um, this is just a simple introduction, how to create it, how it works. And if you need any other help, please ask us. We would be happy to help you. Adios, chicos.